Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Pastiche of Skin Plays. Here we are doing a cold open, a first look, a beginnings on World of Final Fantasy. World of Final Fantasy. World of Final Fantasy. World of the Final of Fantasy. Yeah, I'm doing a bunch of voices for this. I've seen the opening screen of this, and I know that the voices are done one after another. You can keep repeating and doing it over and over again. The guys from Far From Soul did an amazing job of trying out every single voice, so I'm not going to spend half an hour on that, but it's just ingrained in my brain, that multiple voices thing. I had to stop watching it immediately and sit down and wait anticipation for the disc to arrive into my house so I can play this game. So, uh, of course, I'm sitting down now and hammering through it for you guys so we can all play it together. So, um... Maybe we should just get started, should we? Should we just get started? And uh, it's gonna start up here. Let's rock and roll. Oh, I am ready for this. I'm ready for this far, far too much. I, I'm anticipating the Final Fantasy 15 rush that I'm gonna get whenever it arrives out to us all at the end of this month. But uh, this is the perfect, perfect stopgap for um, for me until we get into uh, what will probably eat my life for at least a week. And hopefully we'll eat your lives for a few hours as I post up videos of it. <laughs> okay. There is no sea of data. Of course there's no sea of data. Because we have not played it yet. Right, let's get started. Saving is complete. Great. Turn it on my cross save. Sure. Wait, there's no sea of data? Wait a second. I played the demo of this? Hmm. Did the demo not count? That's not right. I'm a little bit disappointed. I thought I was going to get some free stuff. Yeah, if you wanted to, you can actually check out the demo that I played already of this, which showed the... It was, like, <clears throat> it was mostly a mechanics demo. It wasn't really about showing you a story or anything. So hopefully we can get a little bit more of a taste of that in the intro. Oh! World of Final Fantasy. 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 <laughs> World of Final Fantasy. World of Final Fantasy. Uh, I was hoping for one of the geekier, weirder ones, but no, no, it wasn't gonna be it. So let's take a quick look into the options here. Uh, message speed, we can probably turn that up a wee touch. Uh, character names on, mini map on, battle speed, mm, uh, that's okay. Battle menu, basic, classic, basic, classic, basic. Well, I can switch to classic easy enough. Uh, battle mode, wait for now. Battle theme, default. I'm assuming you unlock one of those actually along the way. Hmm. So, voice language in Japanese and English, with uh, voice dialogue on and off in English or Japanese. Alright, well, well, I'm going to stick with the English dialogue for this. Um, I haven't heard anything bad about the dubbing in this game, so maybe that's all we need to worry about. We'll just leave it as is. Right. And of course, I got to save again. Downloadable content. What do we got? What's this? Okay. Omega God? Is it, I'm assuming this is actually Zephyroth it's referring to. <laughs> Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. So these are actually like uh, DLCs that are included in the game that we've already pulled down, I'm assuming. So it's not asking me to pay for any of those, which is good. I'm happy with that. I'm glad. Right. New game. New game, new game, new game, new game, new game. Ah. <laughs> uh, Obtain Zephyros Champion Medal. Okay. Coliseum ticket for the White Chocobo. Okay. For the Glow Moogle. Okay. Coliseum ticket for the Red Bonnet Berry. So I'm assuming this is all... Oh, there we go. Yeah. Ah, oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, claim my bonus. <laughs> oh, man. Yes. <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm so glad I played through the demo because I get the magic tech armor from the very beginning nearby. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. See, that's the reason why I actually enjoyed having um, the choices of the minions that I have on the screen here because they're pretty much the um, like that, that magic tech armor. I like it. I like it a lot. Tick tock. Tick tock. Tick 
tock goes the clock. What's up with you, Roxas? Sora? Person? Spiky hair thing? Ooh. <laughs> the Gauntlet of Fate. It's better than the Helm of Fate. The Helm of Fate takes over your brain, not just takes over your arm. It went bad. Got into my hand. First the brother, and now... Sister, sister! Know how much I missed ya! Mm -mm 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 -mm. If you get that reference, you're about as old as I am. It's a lot of grunting and moaning here. Um, whoa! Almost upskirt. Um, Square Enix, come on. Oh, wait. Alright, okay. They're being polite. They're being reasonably polite. They're not intentionally doing that. They're keeping it low. His skirt's flying up higher. Ah, cool. Kind of looks like the city from the from Final Fantasy 15. Like the big tower. Uh, what do they call the... T uh, oh, I'm going to get skewered for actually my inability to remember Final Fantasy lore on demand, aren't I? <laughs> Oh, pretty. See, even modern sculpture in fantasy worlds looks a bit and a half, doesn't it? The silence that spoke Time volumes. To wake up. Really? <sighs> oh, good God! No! Children, no! <laughs> Do you walk away? Then you hear me say, Ooh, please, baby. Simple and clean is the way that we're making me feel tonight. <laughs> yeah? You think it's chaos? It's feeling very, very uh, Kingdom Hearts right now. Hmm? I just woke up as the same as it ever was. With a. Th okay. <sighs> what a nap. <laughs> I take it that's completely natural and normal to have something standing on top of your head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. huh. Oh, right. I gotta get to work. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Let me guess, is it the animal stacking office that you go to? Is that what you do all day? Well, I thank you very much for that oh, top tip. Am I gonna make it? The boss hates when I'm late. Does he now? I'm sure most bosses generally don't like that. Then again, it's not like business has picked up it. <laughs> yeah, apparently it hasn't. I mean, if this is business, it <sighs> is sure really quiet, quiet out here. Okay. Well, I mean, you need to get your morning Jojo. Mojo Jojo! Hey, I'm here. How'd she get in if no one's here yet? Well, because the door was open and you walked in as well, obviously. I'm real sorry. I hope you haven't been waiting long. Hmm? Long enough. Long enough. Hmm. Right. She needs some water. Oh, no thanks. A pint. I mean, a cup of coffee, please. <laughs> like, oh, since you like, realize what time the morning was, she's I obviously an Irish character because it. she just went, a right. pint of... Wait, it's no, it's 9 a.m. And I'll get you one of the big jars. Has nobody made the coffee yet? Come on, get it together, guys. Yeah, just get it together, you know? I'm sorry, miss. This might take a while. Hey, no hurry. Time's not an issue. <laughs> why, do, why does that feel like a loaded statement in some way, shape, or form? Here you go. Coffee Making Thank Simulator you. 2016! This is the fact that we didn't even get to make the coffee. That would be a mini game, at least. <laughs> I 
This is a girl after my own heart. I drink a very sugary coffee. Most of the time, because I put syrup on it, I won't put added sugar or anything. But um, you throw like a vanilla or something into it, vanilla syrup. I'll, I don't need to add sugar, but I do like it sweet. <laughs> Jesus, this bitch is ruining the coffee. God damn it. Oh. Well. It's a very saccharine face. I'm, well, actually, it would be a saccharine face. It's actually completely filled with sugar. Teeter totter, teeter totter. Keep it down, Rain. How about acting your age, huh? Hey, don't talk down to me. Listen, last time I checked, little bro, I've been around a few minutes longer than you. I've got a wild feeling okay, that the implication okay. is that these are meant to be adults, already. not kids. Very sorry. I mean, he's working in a coffee shop. So what's up? Their dialogue and voice actors sound. Well, you don't have to get all sarcastic. Uh. Oh. You really are all ears. Right. Uh, what? Forget it. So long. Have you seen anybody this morning? Wait, does it... it oh, yeah, I mean... I'm, I'm assuming that this is meant right? to be normal? Yeah, I, 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 obviously, customer. you wouldn't notice something standing what? on top of your goddamn head. Oh, oh, hello. You didn't even see her? Dude. Uh, yeah, well, but... yeah. I do love Look, the overwrought melodramatic closing. Easy! Irish melodrama, I, do, I studied it in college. It's a thing. There's nobody here! Yeah, exactly. That's what so I said. It's a quiet morning. Maybe they just. I mean no one! Exactly! <laughs> Point at all the Mom, things. Have you bumped into anyone today besides her? Uh, now that you mention it, I guess not. And no, you did not. This isn't setting off any alarms. It should be. Well, should it? You two yes. really don't remember a thing, huh? This is a good cup what of Joe. That? <laughs> cool story, bro. Who are you? Actually, fuck you. Hang on. If you're from around town. Cool story, bro. Then I don't know you. Rain manners. You two really don't remember a thing. Would you please just answer my question? You can call me Anna Crow. Anna Crow will work. She's one of the crows. I'm a crow. I'm a crow. Okay, well, we woke up Anna to a crows. ghost town this morning. Maybe you know why? Yes, you're quite alone. But Anna you rocks? always have been. <laughs> you're huh? Anna, anagrams go along with it. This world... It's always been the two of you. A like world without time. Makes one me think that, that she's lying about her name. Began. What? That's the weirdest thing I've heard. But don't worry. Sorkan? Just because the world ended doesn't mean that it's going anywhere. You know, I have been checking up on you two. Until now, you were nothing but blank stares. Sorkani? So imagine my surprise when Lon took my order. All right. What a morning. Okay. Well, that's a good timing. Now you're kind of scaring me. So, now that you're awake, we've got a story to tell. Yay! Story time! Which brings us to... Tama! Right to here! Uh, who the hog put this thing on my head? Yeah, I did try to mention it before. Why did he not notice a thing on his head? I'll go on ahead and link up a path. You the got it! You the got it! Hey, hey, <laughs> See, I've heard it this leave. before, that actually random use of the word the apparently in the Japanese version it's a uh, additional des this 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 we're not allowed to be confused. Uh, yes, okay. You're obviously allowed to be confused, but you probably shouldn't you be. Were upset too. Let's start the over. I'll make us some of the coffee. Huh? Oh, yes, make us some of the coffee. But I already the made coffee. some coffee before you got here. How can you just roll with this rain? Chill the out. <laughs> they've got full, the they've gone full on kabuki. On. It's brilliant. You shouldn't start out your morning with so much stress. <laughs> oh, would you like some sugar? Three cubes for you. Yes, all right, the sugar, please. Huh? I'm good with just one. Actually, no, no sugar for him. He's a okay, little bit too jumpy. But I just said I. 
You know what? Just give me my dang cup of coffee. My dang, dang coffee? Come on, guys. You know this isn't a PG-13 culture. People that are old enough to understand half the characters are in this. You can let Gosh, them swear. Keepers? Me and Rain? That's the correct. Those the, the marks correct. on your arms are proof. That <laughs> won't get annoying at all. Miracles? Our arms can do that? Dude. Hmm. How could you the forget? You used to command a whole legion of them. You were masters of them. Powerful living illusions known as mirages. In the fact, even the Pleiad answered to you, and those are the seven strongest mirages of all. With their power, you could have the ruled over all the world. Okay. Oh. So, we could have ruled the world? Because what we controlled these mirages? All right. Well, that's what I've heard. From who? What do you mean? In a crow that told me, of course. But enough the reminiscing. I've got to teach you two to use mirages again. What? Well, that's useful. What's that? First off, I'm going to present you with my very own present. I'm the great turtle tutorial spirit. Follow my instructions. So what does it do? Follow my the instructions. Mary. The mirage inside becomes yours, and you can then make it do the anything in the Listen anything to the great the tutorial mirror. spirit, I know all. So let's try it right now in glorious combat. Wait, what? Huh? Hey, first time of combat. So, we're going to see the <laughs> Pikachu, I choose you. Why are we fighting Pikachu? Are they literally just going like, hey, hey, Game Freak, hey, Pokemon Company, hey, hey. Fuck you! <laughs> okay, go ahead and get those things To take action, you need to spin something called action points, also known as AP. You automatically gain a little bit of AP each time your turn comes around in battle. The amount of AP you need depends on the what you're trying to do. So make the sure you use the Okay, so active time battles. I understand what an active time battle is. That's good and grand. Uh, assigning buttons, shortcuts to abilities. Yes, I remember that from the demo. This is the best. This is the reason why I'm so glad I played the demo of this, just to kind of get a context, because it's combat, this seems reasonably easy to me. I understand it. But uh, for any of you guys that are watching completely unaware of how this works, um, there is this yeah, quick, uh, quick selection option where you have like four or five options presented in front of you. Um, actions require action points. You recharge those from mission to action to action. You find out what is actually effective against each enemy. Um, whenever you make your choices to attack, which we will get to do in just a moment, you have the choice of either the basic choices, uh, which are the ones you assign, or the classic, which it gives you the a little bit more rememberable original kind of uh, experience of what uh, Final Fantasy is kind of like, you know, like these little bits and pieces at the very beginning. Your um, typical attacks and abilities and escapes and everything else. I can use items, I can use abilities. Ooh, yeah, there we go. I can actually use an ability. Let's find out. I'm wondering about uh, you, Guru. Unimprisonable. Alright. Uh, it's 202 health. Well, in that case, I think I may use... All oh, right. So I can understand the abilities. Normally, whenever I was playing this, I had the characters stacked on top of each other because they're separate. They have to have do their attacks individually. That makes sense. Well, at least with the classic menu, you can see the opponent's energy bar. You can see how much damage you're actually doing to them, and you see how much it works against them. You'll see, um, if we can get through this tutorial match reasonably quickly, because yeah, um, the pace is a little bit slow so far. I mean. Normally I would have actually planned to break these into 15 minute episodes. I've already gone well past that. We that got into our first fight in 15 minutes. I'm going to probably play this first section as like an hour long video of some sort. Because otherwise there's no way I could be able to cut it down or figure it out. Let's see. The three battle modes. Uh, Semi-active, active, semi-active and wait. I'm just going to use wait because it is the slowest one. It means I can talk to you guys and deliberate over my choices. Active time battle, I always liked it, uh, but that's when you, whenever you're kind of like you're getting into the game, you're like zoned into it and you're playing it or grinding through. Otherwise, wait just works perfectly fine. Turn-based combat. It's a, it's a historic standard of the series. Chi. Does he say chi? But it's actually uh, kind of like to be a chi, Pikachu. All 
right, all right. I think I've seen enough for one to tussle. Yes, yay! We won the fight. Now we don't get that one at all. No, that's fine then. Fine, fine, whatever. Ah, one EXP away. Big stack. That's what we are. I know I'm a big stack. Aren't you a big stack too? Seven gil, so 107 gil altogether. So of course we're gonna be spending money, making money. Did you kind of thing. Figured we're out yet? Yes, yes we did. You know the Mirage could stand up to you. Dude, seriously? Seriously? Dude, but seriously, it's hard Dude. to believe. I'm sure it is. Dude. Dude. As Dude. far as I can tell, you Dude, where's my Mirage? All the memories Dude. and experience you've ever prism? accumulated. Dude, where's my prism? Dude, where's my Mirage? Wait. Of course that would have happened when you and this world were spliced out. Spliced out. Okay. So not only did they lose the so this is almost like had, it's a film strip kind of thing. Of Whenever you freeze like spliced. The too? But I guess that is this a world on the cutting room floor? Seem to be largely on the affected. What? Listen, let me show you something. Hmm, I'm intrigued. There, just beyond this light, lies another world called Grimoire. That is where the you'll find stories? all the mirages you like a grimoire? You mean they're all inside this gate? You got it. Are you ready to conquer them again? So, um, if we do manage to find all the lost mirages, does that mean we'll be able to remember the things we forgot? Well, I don't know about that. After all, you lost your memories. It's not the same thing as forgetting them. Oh. Right, lost them. But, <laughs> even if you don't remember, <laughs> like somebody went in and Grimoire just went delete, shift, delete. Oh, You'll bypass the bin. Sorry, you can't recover those. Been shredded. Okay, so like, you're saying whether we remember anything about ourselves or not, we can still find clues about our past and the things we've done. Correct. And if you keep on gathering mirages, I think you might even meet your family in due time. Oh. Our family? Huh? My mama? I guess. My papa? It does make sense that we have My parents. papa? Oh, yes. So then, you going? You going? Will you journey to Grimoire? Hell yeah! <sighs> <sighs> well, I will see to my progress. Get way to adventure. First trophy one. Yay! I've got that voice of that um, character kind of stuck in my head. It's not going to go away anytime soon. Chapter one. Land of the Lilikin. Land of the Lilikin. So I suppose I might actually. I think I'll probably break this down so that I play the. That was the tutorial done. So I might just pause this now as so the first this video, must be grimoire. and then uh, jump in to it being a second video right what? afterwards. So that's what's going. I mean, I don't interrupt the broadcast or anything, but it's just about going to actually do it this way. So um, <laughs> they do look totally adorable. I know we look ridiculous. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, don't worry. It's I'm all of you. Sure that's how everybody in this world must look. In a crow just wanted to make sure you had a nice and a handy way of blending in. Hmm. Wow. Why, thank she you very much. Like that? that is awesomely weird. Well, this kind of works out. We won't have anybody gawking at our arms. Way to find the silver lining. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Lilikin and Giants. Uh, and the, this mechanic of switching from smaller to bigger is kind of cool because it does directly affect the combat mechanics. So like your preference for character design for your main characters and where they are it's going to directly affect how you've played the game which is kind of weird pretty cool that's like a pretty nice choice to make so although you're free to strut around on either side you will still combat in your current form so it's never a bad idea to have stacks set up for both situations well let's go we need to start figuring out about the stacks and the jar for tips then we're pretty I sure i guess we fine. should head straight down this path right 
So since this is actually we're going into we the first go. chapter here, um, I suppose we'll take uh, you know, not a momentary break, once. but I want to say thank you very much, guys, what? for uh, watching the first video of this. There will be so much more yeah. World of Final Fantasy coming very, very soon. So, um, yeah, come back and we'll see you all in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Passive Skin. Of course, you can see me here on YouTube dot com forward slash past teacher skin i'm trying because i'm thinking in the context of where this video is going to be youtube.com forward slash past teacher skin and you can, of course watch me on twitch.tv forward slash past teacher skin same thing same place and as always you can twitter away at me at past teacher of derm it's easy to find me i'm not that difficult and i will see you all in the next episode bye